In this video guys, I'm going to show you on, on how to download download PyCharm IDE. So IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, I think, yeah. So another way for you to uh, write your Python programs, like kung gusto mong develop ng projects in Python. So you can also do this, just like Sublime, yung IDLE, at saka Notepad. Kung gusto mo, uh, basically just a... Uh, you know, IDE that you can write your code, then you can run it, like, ganon. So, basically, just like yung mga pinakita ko sa mga pre pre previous tutorials. So, eto, um, this is the official site for PyCharm. Eto, meron tong dalawa, basically. Etong professional, so, eto, may bayad to. Yeah, may bayad to. So, this is for the, um, free and open source. Ito, eto, free trial lang. So, basically, may bayad to. So, uh, kung anong OS kayo, kung Mac, Linux, uh, Windows, basically, obviously, karamihan sa atin Windows. So, just pick kung anong, ano nyo. So, just click download. Yeah. So, once you download, uh, punta kayo, ma-redirect kayo sa page na to. And, syempre, ka-cancel ko to because meron na ako. So, as I've said, um, dito, meron na ako dito. PyCharm installer. Ito, kanina ko pa install So, uh, kapag na-download nyo, meron na kayong installer. So, just press enter. Um, just go on with it. Yeah. So, actually guys, um, to be honest, yung last used ko nito, nit, um, itong PyCharm was way back. Actually, last year, pero um, last year, ginamit ko itong PyCharm kasi nag-aral ako mag-Python and ginamit ko itong uh, PyCharm. Then, pero yung pinakalas time ko talagang matagal lang kong ginamit is way back 2017 I think so just click run yeah di kasi medyo ano kasi, kasi to guys eh um, grabe makakain to ng RAM to be honest tapos to be honest hindi, to, hindi kinakaya to ng laptop ko so ayan do you want to allow this app to make um tawag dito changes to your device just click yes so ganyan next so eto this is the path sa in destination folder so sa program files yan so di ba mapapansin yung malaki yung ano di ba yan so just click next so eto um just some uh, configurations kung gusto mong may 64 um bit launcher yeah you like um yung shortcut then eto create association so basically if may kung, uh, optional lang to kung gusto niyo tong i-check Pero let's check this na lang. So, kung like gusto nyo, like, uh, may Python files kayo, then, yung Python file nyo is associated na with PyCharm. So, kapag in-open mo siya, like, automatically, ma-redirect or ma-open siya through PyCharm. So, basically, ganun. So, just click next. Yan. So, install. So, yan. It's installing. So, yeah. That's basically it. So, as I said noon, um, Medyo ano kasi ito eh, like, grabe ito makakonsumo ng, ano, ng RAM, I think, ng yan, ng memory, so, yun, inaninstall ko to So, eto, eto, gusto ko lang ito ipakita cause, actually guys, maganda to to be honest, maganda to kaso nga, hindi lang nga talaga kinakaya to ng laptop ko, so basically, um, 4 gig RAM lang ata ako, and 2, 2 gig VRAM, I don't, yeah, I think, so, yun, so, ayan yun lang ganyan, Actually, kung ako talaga tatanungin, like, saan ko gusto mag, like, mag-develop. Gumamit ng IDE talaga. Pipiliin ko tong PyCharm kasi, parang, alam mo yung Java NetBeans? Parang ganon. So, basically, like, mag-code ka tapos, um, if kailangan mong ma-access yung function, hindi mo na kailangan memorize So, lalabas na lang yun. So, ganon. So, yeah. Ang hirap lang kasi, guys, di ba? Like, um, isang computer science or IT student ka or any computer related course tapos yung machine mo is like mahina, ganyan. <laughs> so, ang hirap, di ba? Like, you know, ko-code ka, tapos ang bagal ng ano mo. So, yun guys, tiga-tiga lang. Wala naman tayong choice eh. Ayun, yun, laban lang. So, yun, I might skip na lang this. I mean, I might cut the video pero fast forward nyo lang guys if, ano, fast forward nyo lang yung video. Ano? So, habang ano, kwenta-kwenta muna tayo. <laughs> yeah, so, how are you? Kamusta kayo guys in sa quarantine? So, kasabay ba kayo sa uh, ECQ? So, kami at dito sa amin, GCQ na, pero still, um, absorb pa rin. Absorb, dapat pa rin i, you know, kasanayan yung physical distancing, ganoon. So, tagal, to be honest, yeah, ganoon talaga guys, ganoon talaga to. Like, 
if kung ikaw ay like ang laptop mo or you're using a notebook 2 gig ram ganun so i think medyo di kakayanin to be hindi ko alam i'm not sure pero eto nga sa sa akin medyo di kinakaya ng laptop ko 4 gig ram na ako and 2 gig uh, vram so ganun so yeah madali na madali na tagal so yeah so that's basically it um um eto so you can click and run so finish then yun so kapag pumunta tayo sa desktop natin Ayan, may shortcut na tayo. So, after the installation process, guys, uh, meron na kayo yung shortcut nito. Yeah, the PyCharm um, shortcut desktop. So, just open it, then lalabas yung logo ng PyCharm, then eto na. So, yeah. Basically, uh, meron tayong create project, open project. So, basically, we can also op open um, recent projects, for example, na uh, we have worked on. So, siyempre, first time natin to. So, basically, just create a new project. So, di, um, dito guys, sa location, dito um, ilalagay ng PyCharm sa location na to, sa machine mo, yung project na yon. So, uh, basically, eto yung na-highlight niya yung last na word. Yeah, I mean word. <laughs> yung eto. So, basically, dyan kasi, um, dyan kasi like sinasabi ng PyCharm na dyan mo isulat kung ano magiging name ng project mo. So, basically, let's just name it test. So, kung makikita nyo, meron tayo ditong, etong thing na to. So, ang ginagawa kasi guys ng PyCharm, um, sa eto, it is forcing us to, um, to do, like, it is forcing, forcing, forcing us to create a virtual environment. So, unang-una, ano bang virtual environment? Um, first of all, ayoko muna mag, -ex uh, mag explain like, ayoko muna bigyan ng pansin talaga muna tong virtual environment kasi for me, it's not a good thing muna for beginners kasi this tutorial video, this series is meant for beginners. So, ang purpose natin dito guys is pag-aaralan muna natin kung paano mag-program in Python. So, sa mga future tutorials, um, I'll, um, I'll include rin ang um, working on virtual environments kasi napaka-importante rin dito. So, basically, focus muna tayo ang tawag dyan sa to learn Python muna. Paano mag-program in Python? So, pero gusto ko rin mag, uh, like, a brief explanation lang in virtual environment. So, basically, guys, a virtual environment is a tool that helps to keep dependencies required by different projects separate by creating, creating isolated Python virtual environments for them. So, basically, guys, um, explain ko lang ng like a short period of time. For example, ikaw programmer ka, gusto mong may tatlong projects ka basically. For example, yung isang mong project magka-create ka ng website, magka-create ka ng GUI application, magka-create ka ng for example a project that um face detection something like that. So basically, yung tinatawag na dependencies dito, yan yung ang minimin na dependencies dito. Yan yung mga tinatawag na Python packages. So basically, for you um, yung, ka, yung tatlo mong projects, iba-iba yung mga dependencies or Python packages na kailangan nila eh. So, it's a good thing na gumawa ka. As I've said, it's a good thing na gumawa ka ng isang virtual environment para for every project na, gina, project na ginagawa mo is nandun lang yung kung ano yung kailangan mong dependencies or Python Python packages. So, basically, in a, also in a virtual environment, pwede mo rin maset kung ano yung, for example, sa, sa project na to. For example, in, pro, your, in your project 1, ah, kailangan ko dito is Python version 3.8. Sa project 2, ah, kailangan ko dito is Python version 3.7. Sa project 3, 3.6. Ganon. So, basically, you can do that using a virtual environment. So, basically, don't worry, guys. Uh, ayoko nga munang pansin kasi more on virtual environments kasi it's not uh, yet a good thing muna for beginners, ah, sa mga beginners, kasi malilito lang kayo niyan. So, let's just focus on learning Python muna. So, yun. So, dito tayo sa exist existing um, interpreter. So, basically, ang ibig sabihin nito, naalala niyo yung, kung napanood niyo yung first tutorial ko, like, nag-install tayo ng Python and sinet natin sa environment variables. So, basically, meron na tayong Python installed. So, basically, as I've said, meron na tayong um, Python installed in our machine kung napanood nyo yung first tutorial ko. So, basically, just click here the existing interpreter, meaning meron na tayong 
um, installed na Python in our machine or sinet natin sa envir environment variable. So, just click here. Kung makikita nyo wala, though, <laughs> di naman kasi dyan pala. So, eto, click nyo itong dot, 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 tulong, uh, tatlong dot. So, basically, dito sa system inter interpreter, kasi yan yung from our system. So, basically, eto, nakit naalala nyo to, this is the path of our Python installed. So, basically, this is the path yung install natin sa first tutorial. May kita niya, di ba? So, basically, yan. So, eto, system interpreter. So, we are choosing na yung interpreter natin, which is yung Python natin, is yung install dito sa system, sa, uh, sa computer natin or machine. So, click OK. Yan. So, hintayin nyo. Ganyan. So, wait. Daw, ganyan. So, yeah. Create. So, we're now creating our project. Ganyan. So, yan. It might take too long sa inyo. I mean, depende kasi like, as I've said, grabe ito makakonsume ng RAM. So, to be honest guys, gusto ko tong, gusto, gusto ko tong gamitin since nung nagtitesis pa kami. Pero, uh, I have decided na gumamit na lang ng sublime text. So, ganun. So, eto na. Yeah, so just some tips. So just close it. Eto, now we have now our project open. So basically what you can do guys is right click you. Eto yung project natin. Right? By the way, gusto ko nang ipakita eto yung external li libraries. So basically eto, pinapakita dito na eto yung interpreter natin which is yung basically yung Python na ginagamit natin which is eto yung nasa system, yung installed sa machine natin. So eto na yun. So uh, basically what you can do is click here then right click the new. Then, ito, you can create a Python file here. So, basically, um, this is just a folder. This is basically just a folder. Itong project na to. It's just a folder. Then, sa loob ng folder are Python, your Python files. So, basically, that's it. So, dito, guys, this is now your Python um, file. So, basically, you can type, for example, um, hello. Um, pero, wag na kayong maglagay ng extension ng .py kasi automatic na yan nalagay. So, basically, yan. So, press enter or select the Python file. Yan. So, yun. So, medyo matagal sa akin. Yeah. To be honest, me personally, ayaw kong mga mata... Yung mga mababagal na machines, guys, eh. Uh, hindi ko alam na stress ako. <laughs> My God. So, let's try to print. Um, see, nakalata nyo. Sensya na, guys, ha? If medyo... Imagine, you know, creating a project, then ganito yung ano mo. So, nakaka-stress talaga. So, di ba? Ito yung reason kung bakit ko inabando na to noon pa. Kung meron, kung meron lang akong like maganda yung laptop ko or like mabilis. So basically, I'll be using this sana. So now we have this. Yan. Print hello world example. So what we can do is um, run. Parang magran dito. Refractor. Uh, basically, ito sana yun. So basically, um, etong execute in line Python console. Run Python console. Okay. Etong ano, run Python console. So yan. So. Hintayin nyo lang guys, um, you can skip, okay? Oh my god, I really, really hate. Um, ayan, nakita nyo ito na green na. So basically, um, what you can also press this um, run, or itong run. Oh, basically, shift, ten, shift, shift F10 nga pala. Oh. <laughs> so ayan, so hintayin lang natin guys, ang bagal niya. Sa akin lang ha, sa akin. So yeah. Ayan! So, uh, wait lang. Yan. So, basically, yan is running. So, hello world. So, uh, ilang seconds ba yun, guys? Uh, ilang seconds yung sinayang natin? So, basically, you can now uh, click this. Run. Yan. So, for example, ang uh, gawin natin to is, for example, hello world, Philippines. Lagyan natin ng word na Philippines. Then, we can run that. Um... Wait, let me X muna to. Marami na kasing anong nag-run. So, we can run this. Click, click nyo yun. Yan! Oh my gosh. So, yeah. That's it, guys. So, oh, eto. So, basically, that's it. So, that's it, guys. So, ganun lang. Um, that's how you install um, PyCharm and another way for you to run your or yeah to run your python programs and work on like for example if you want to use an ide to work on your project so basically 
eto, isa to sa mga pinakasikat. So, yun, um, nakita nyo na yung epekto nito sa isang machine. <laughs> uh, for example, sa akin is medyo um, alanganin because hindi, hindi, obviously, hindi kinakaya sa akin. So, maybe um, ikaw, if you have a, you know, malakas ang PC mo, then why not? You can use this. So, this is very, very useful to be honest. So, yun guys, um, favor lang, pwede um, ask ko lang like, you can also like my page, my Facebook page. So, um, if you have more questions and like about such tutorials ko and anything, questions, anything, you know, you can also contact me here. So, yun guys, um, um, yun lang yung request ko lang na please follow and like my page. And also, you can share it guys. So, yun. I also post things here like um, an update kung anong may upload ko sa YouTube. So, yun guys. Again, thank you so much for the tutorial. And... Wag nyo kalimutan mag-subscribe, of course. <laughs> Yun guys, so thank you so much sa mga new subscribers. Um, and by the way, programmer ako, yung page. So thank you rin. Um, thank you so much guys. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.